I haven't done one of these in a while. But here's Cabin Fever Field Day. And we can choose a game that we want. And I think I'm going to choose Vertical Adventure first. Robin is training on an automated obstacle wall. Use the arrow keys to climb the wall while avoiding hazards. Can you make it to the top in less than one minute? Sure. Maybe not. We're fielding. This is some dangerous activities. And that warning noise can get really annoying really fast. But this is a pretty easy game. One of the easier of all the other ones. So yeah, we're already done with this one. Okay, cool. I don't know why I'm doing this again, but... Yeah, I think I clicked the wrong button. But these water things will slow you down. The hammers are what you should really avoid because if you get with a hammer three times, then you automatically lose. And that is a really weird Robin. Now, next game. I think we're gonna do the Ed's Lunchbox. Because why not? Ed and Eddie have discovered an abandoned lunchbox and have seen how far they can hurl it. Press the arrow keys repeatedly to build up power. Press the space bar to release the lunchbox. How far can you run the lunchbox? Let's go double D. E. Uh... Okay, that was really bad. How do you build up power? Hold it. Oh, cool. Again, that was another fail. So I think we need... Yeah, I think you need to mash this button. Mash the arrow keys to build up power. And that's... okay. I think that's bad that Double D can actually throw a lunchbox farther than I can, because... 40 feet's outrageous. Now mashing the arrow keys, mashing the arrow keys, mashing the arrow keys, mashing the arrow keys, and... throw. Wow, it subtracts from that number, that's so stupid. Keep mashing it, keep mashing it, and then when it's ready, then toss it. And I think we should toss like right now. That's good, I guess. This is normally one of my worst games, but whatever. Let's play Operation Haha. -ha. I actually do like this game. You get like five or six different. And six different games that you can play. So let's see. Number one is testing the newest piece of 2x4 technology, a water balloon launcher. Use the left and right arrow keys to set the launch angle. Press the space bar to lock uh, in the power level. How many points can I earn? 10 shots? Let's see. I think I'll try this thing. This angle. Wow, that sucks. Ah, uh, try this. Okay. So oh, there we go. New target: the heli teacher. I think I should just go and wait for her to come right here, and then blast her. That is so stupid! Okay, good. Grandma stuff him. This should be really hard. Fire!
Okay, I think it's getting now easier. And we have Big Brother again. And if we learned from last time, then we should go and shoot. Pretty far. Okay, I'll try that again. I know I can do this. Just wait for the bar to go up. Oh, I see. It's the bar that you have to look for. On the top left hand. I think we'll set the angle like right there. There we go. Again, that's stupid. Wow! Okay, that, that teacher's so stupid. For a teacher? Yeah, that's, that's... Are you kidding me? The villains don't even do anything. They're just standing, just waiting to get blasted. That's retarded. Why would the villains do that? There's... No wonder the kids next door always wins because the villains are complete idiots. Okay, I think I know how to do this. Try right, again. Last time, I promise. This. She's the hardest. I hit the fan blades and she got wet? What? Okay, I think I need to do middle, like right there. That overshot it a bit. My bad. Uh, again, that was pretty bad. There we go. Big brother again. Okay, that's terrible. Once more. That's great. Okay, hello teacher again. No! No! Wait, wait. Where to come? Good. Okay, we got the congratulations. And we have three more to go. Billy's bag of bug. Yeah, let's try this one. Billy is on a mission to catch as many bugs as he can. Press the arrow keys to move and space bar to use a uh, bug net. Okay, seems simple enough. Okay. Okay, we got one. Two. Three. This is pretty easy. Four. Five. I can't back up and get that. Are you kidding me? Antils can hurt you? Continuing on. Fifteen bugs. That that's a scary looking bug. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I never caught a picture of it before. I I have a habit of catching bugs, like not habit, a hobby of catching bugs. I'm really bad at it. I can catch a couple ants at times. That was a huge combo, but but I catch a whole bunch of crickets and ants, some spiders sometimes. I have trouble catching flying ones though. Same with this game too. Flying ones are always hard to get. As I say this, I catch like two flying bugs in a row. 
Well, that one was really easy. Now we have two more to go. Burn rubber and blue swing shift. Blue is giving the swing rides to collect quarters, and that's something I expect Eddie and Eddie to do, but press the space bar when the swing isn't when the space bar Press the space bar when the swing is in the center of the sweet spot to push higher swings. Okay. You're saying this is stupid Mac? Why will Mac ever give blue a quarter? Or something like that. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm pretty sure Mac just give blue a quarter for free. It's one really dark day. Okay, Blue's like the weakest out of the bunch, so how could Blue manage to do this? I think a World War Mac would be hard enough for me, but this is just outrageous. Okay, now they're just really pushing how far they can do this. You can't carry- you can't just push like all of them at once. That's like impossible. This is pretty easy too. I like how the Foster's theme is in the background. This is bad. I'm really bad at these games, especially since my computer's so slow. Come on! Push! Wow, I'm playing again! Okay, that was fun. This game is so boring. Level 3. Again, it's really one really dark day because that's because you put thugs out there, so why is it so dark? Are you freaking kidding me? I have no idea why Blue keeps falling down. I mean, no one would ever do this. Okay, that's good. And here's the last level, I believe. If we have another level after this, it would be completely impossible. Focus, focus. <sighs> yeah, this game's pretty hard. Get on it, Wordo. That was fun. Get on Coco. Okay, screw this game. I hate it. Continuing on. Please, please hit it. Good. 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 Okay, last one. Wilt. Wilt has a huge impact on the weight of this thing, which is kind of surprising because I'd expect Eduardo to have the biggest. It's even been said that Eduardo is the biggest in the show in the episode Room with a Few. Come on. Okay, forget this. That would just give you some kind of lame congratulations thing like all the time, but. Yeah, I remember I used to complete that level a lot. Okay, but here's Hi I Puffy Yumi. Which isn't going up for some reason. Okay, I need to get to dance next show. Mm. Okay. Seems pretty simple. Okay. Okay, this is kind of hard now. I don't know, this reminds me of the game. Okay, why don't I have any kind of like invincibility flames? Invincibility frames or something? Because once they get hit, I always speed up for some reason. Like, I speed up and I, I speed up into another obstacle. And that's just really bugged me. 
Okay, I'll take it slow this time. That! I think I need to go speed up and jump to go and go a bit farther. Yeah, that, that works, kind of. Okay. This game is hard. I can read his instructions again. Should ever skip these. Okay. Final attempt. I promise. Doing pretty good so far. Pretty good. Is that an alligator? It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay, we're almost done. Yeah, I think we can make it. Oh, thank you. So yeah, that's the end of Cabin Fever Field Day, and thanks for watching. I promise I do more of these.